So today we got a question from Jade, the, the Gia Queen. I don't know if it's Gilla Queen or Gia Queen, um, but she says that recently she saw one of my videos on Instagram where I was showing how to do a bunch of chokes from Turtle. And she says that she has a lot of options from Turtle, but she has trouble getting people to Turtle because she says she's like 130 pounds. And so she's wondering if I have any, to, any options to get someone to Turtle so that she can begin to use those options. So Jade, since you're 130 pounds, I'm gonna use my 130 pound troll, Thomas. And we're gonna show you how to get people to turtle so that you can put them, put the chokes on and everything else. So before I get started with the move, I just want you guys to know why I pick on Thomas. So recently Thomas was making a big post and talking about how Joe Clark was so nice about helping him. And uh, this was the post that he made on Facebook publicly. Um, he says, you know, it's incredible to be part of a gym that the coaches are so willing to take care, uh, take the time to work with people individually to help them achieve their goals. And it's amazing how valuable some of their smaller, uh, some, some of the smaller adjustments can be. Also notice that Nick Alvin, me, that's my real name, not Chewy, but Nick Alvin, is nowhere to be seen in the weight room. My guess is he's still in a sugar coma with his hands stuck in a Nutella jar. Make sure to keep him in your thoughts as holidays approach and he's subjected to life-threatening amounts of junk food and sedentary living. Can I, can I just say that that post came from a place of genuine concern, Chewy? I'm going to show you two options for turtle, okay, or to get people there, okay? The first ones, they're both kind of ideas, but I'll kind of give you the, the way that you might set them up. So, um, a lot of times when you're passing guard, people will sometimes make this mistake for a second. They may not be there for very long, but they may make it a mistake where, boom, for a moment, I call this back exposure. Basically, the shoulders begin to show in some fashion. Sometimes people do this and they immediately try to get their legs back. But what you've got to do is you've got to be really keen to this. If you want people to turtle and start to either take their back or go for chokes, whatever. As soon as that happens, I want to run my body to the back. And when I do this, I want to place the center of my back, right, my solar plexus. Like almost like if I, uh, if I was doing like a Hindu push or a Hindu push up right here for that sort of thing from yoga. Boom, right here. This way, if he tries to go back, it's very difficult. And a lot of times people will begin to turtle and then we can get to the turtle that way. Um, what that sometimes might look like is if I'm going in here for like a pass or something like that, maybe like a hip pin, I drive in here, boom, right here. Now, let's say like right now, he hasn't really turned fully to, you know, away from me. I can take this arm up, boom, and begin to drive and immediately start to drive on my toes and get that position to turtle, okay? So that's one. Another one, going back to the knee on belly, is you can create some sort of movement um, in other ways. So let's say you get to pass and the person is very content with just being on their on their back. We can be, uh, begin to put, make some pain, right? Like so, put knee on belly, you know, put it in, push in there, and get them to want to remove it, right? And sometimes if you get into the position, sometimes people will simply just try to push the knee off, okay? It's not a good idea, by the way, guys, but some people do it, where if you get right here, a lot of times they'll push, and as they push, you let the knee just fall off, right? So if I'm here, go back down. If I'm really putting a lot of pressure, as soon as they begin to touch the knee, as they push, I'm gonna let my knee fall so I can begin to work around and go back to, to the back exposure. Because again, what we did there is we purposely gave a little bit of space so the shoulders would pop up. So again, real simple, we go for a knee on belly. If the person's going, we let the leg fall so that we can get around, bang to the back. And then there's our back position, and then we can get to turtle, okay? And both of them, again, go back to the same idea as making back exposure. One more for you, they back down. Just some ideas, okay? If you ever play that leg drag position, let's say if we're in side control, we can always run our hips back and start to work under the arm, and again, back exposure. Chest to back connection. So Jade, hopefully that helps you. So that's kind of what I look for. When I'm trying to get to the back, uh, or I'm trying to get to turtle, that's typically what I do, is I'll try to pass, and again, your game is gonna be different than mine. I'm just trying to show you a couple of ideas that I use in my own game. But whenever I'm passing, whenever I'm moving around, whenever I'm in side control, and I see those shoulders pop up, whenever I can see the, uh, whatever the design is on their back, as soon as I see that, Gi, no gi, whatever, I dive on it to try to create the connection with my chest and their back. And again, from that point, you can either begin to attack with the chokes or the submit or to the back mount, but what will happen is a lot of people will turtle to try to get away from it. And uh, so hopefully that's helpful to you. So, um, I'm finished. Thomas? I'm not a turtle, Q.